Aloha. What's going on? It's Mike's from LiveMyAssOff.com and happy, I don't know what day of the week it is. Greetings. Hi. How are you? <laughs> uh, I'm a year older. <laughs> um, and uh, actually, uh, relative to my last video, I'm a day older. So, let's be clear. Um, I'm heading up to uh, get my mail. Uh, like a few of you, possibly. Uh, I don't get my mail at my place of sleep. What a lot of people refer to as their mailing address versus their residence. Um, I have it separate, and it's just sort of a carryover from when I would go from... Uh, or when I was going from my house to my next house. Um, and I just keep it there because that way um, an official place of business basically um, is in charge of receiving my mail and then that way I'm also able to send out mail officially. I don't have to worry about uh, someone I don't know and or trust uh, signing for it. Not that those people are bad, but a lot of people, their primary role in life, their job, is to not necessarily sign for email and make, or sign for mail, uh, and make sure that I get it. So, I have a service that does that. Um, and I'm heading up there. Now, the reason I bring this up is because I have been a huge fan of Google Fi since it first came out. And if you don't know, I'll put a link to another one of my videos where I think I talked about it. Um, and then a, uh, a subscriber slash friend of mine, I think originally from Facebook, who also has a um, experience and love for traveling in Southeast Asia, I think Thailand, possibly the Philippines also, uh, mentioned to me, oh yeah, Google Fi is amazing, and if you get a chance, get the new Google Pixel phone. Because um, at the time, the best phone you could get was the Huawei Nexus 6P. Now, I don't know if I shared this with you in another video, but several months ago, actually around mid-October, I was busy in the morning like I am, like a lot of you are. I get up, I do the shower thing, and I get ready to go. And for me, once a week, Thursdays is trash day. So I take all my stuff, and I got my, I got my, my stuff for work, potentially have a jacket. Usually I'm wearing a scarf. <laughs> um, and uh, and then on Thursdays, grab the trash, throw it out in the trash, put the things out, put the barrels out for the guys to pick up, and uh, off I go. Well, that one Thursday, apparently I wasn't paying attention enough, and I had like my car keys and whatever in my my hand, and I threw away my phone, my approximately six month old Huawei Nexus 6B, 64 gig, $600 phone. I threw away. <laughs> I. Uh, I tried to geolocate it and ping it and that sort of thing, get it to ring like really loud. Um, but by the time I uh, was aware of it and was trying to, I'm sure it was under feet, if not meters of trash somewhere. So it went away. Um, and I went online and I'm like, I am in no mood to spend another 500 bucks on a new phone, replacement phone. So. The Nexus uh, Pixel came out, which is arguably a pretty damn nice phone, too. One of the things that I've been told that I would really like about it, and kind of a recommendation uh, and reason I should buy it, because apparently it has stabilization built into the video. Uh, and since I'm highly caffeinated, a lot of times when I'm just doing the my videos on my phone and I'm just holding it with my arm... Um, they end up being a little jittery. <laughs> and Google's like, hey, would you like us to stabilize this? Or YouTube is. And I'm like, yeah, sure, go for it. And I've tried that service, that, that sort of uh, post-production automated service where it tries to stabilize the image and make it, and it, it just, I don't think it makes it look better. Uh, and for the most part, the video portion of my videos is not, I would submit, is as compelling as the audio content that I have, meaning the discussions that we have well, it probably adds value to see my facial expression and, uh, and potentially arm movements as well as things I may be showing around me. Uh, it's, it hasn't been a top priority for me to stabilize it, and because of that, maybe I've lost subscribers. So uh, maybe if some of you are on the verge of leaving because of that. I apologize. Um, but again, not, my, not, not really a top priority for me. For me, this is more of a reflection and 
sort of daily vlog slash uh, reflection on what I've been doing, my, my experiences that I've been having in life, um, and how I feel as though I'm blessed to be able to live the dream. So, I'm heading to the mailbox. Why? Well, I'm picking up a couple, actually just one today, but I'm picking up a couple of uh, Nexus 6Ps. Um, and one of them that I bought um, is a... Uh, I, bought, I think I got all of them on eBay. A couple of them are like three, four months old, and uh, one of them is the international version, which simply means that it has a, like about three or four different uh, 4G LTE bands. If, if you know that the, 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 the LTE bands are labeled with Bs, right? So B1, B2, B3, B4. Um, and there's a couple that are used for 4G LTE in, um, in the Philippines that aren't used here. And so because of that, when I have my other phone over in the Philippines, my Nexus 6P, um, Google Fi wasn't able to get uh, a data signal. And so that was sort of frustrating. Um, and so anyway, so I'm looking forward to testing that out as well as a replacement because the, the Nexus 6P, I mean, it's got five and a half inch uh, screen. It's awesome. I mean, I can do a lot of stuff on it. Um, and uh, even, it, uh, and sometimes it's, in fact, it's funny. I think one of the guys that is selling his, it's only four months old. He got the Pixel, but he's like, it's simply too big. He's like, it's just, it, it, it's almost like a tablet. What do they call that? Fablet, right? It's like a phone and tablets. It's kind of large. So anyway, so I'm going to, um, and I'm not going to go through a whole, like, unboxing or whatever. I mean, again, if you have an interest in the, the Huawei devices or the Nexus 6P, then you can certainly just Google that. Um, I will also say that in the last several months that I've been looking for a, uh, uh, of a, the phone, a lot of the reviews I have, it was interesting, it's been sort of a common label of these phones, which is, um, the best Nexus phone ever made. Um, and it's one thing to say that, like, you know, if you're <laughs> trying to justify why you bought that and didn't bother waiting to get the next one, which was the Pixel, uh, the true Google phone, uh, then I guess, okay, yeah, I get why you're saying that. But it seems as though, you know, the Pixel's been out long enough, whereby, you know, if, the, if your reviews truly are in comparison, like, hey, look, I tried the Pixel. And the, uh, the, the 6P is really, really pretty rad. So I liked it a lot, and I'm hoping that uh, I will like it again. The other thing, if you don't know about Google Fi, which I absolutely love, is that I have never been without signal. Uh, the way that they have designed the uh, Google Fi is that um, here, at least in the U.S., uh, there's multiple radios inside, um, and there's multiple contracts assigned to the SIM. So... Um, you have it able to connect to uh, sp uh, Sprint um, as well as uh, T-Mobile. T-Mobile actually is pretty awesome. Because of that, though, the the sort of the the paradigm of the uh, plan that you get is it's twenty bucks a month for uh, unlimited text and data in like hundred and forty countries. Um, and then for the most part, using it like a phone, cell phone, uh, not using data, but using actual cell service to make a audio phone call, um, I haven't paid over 20 cents a minute anywhere. Um, and that's pretty awesome. So anyway, I'm excited. I'm going to go pick that up and I'll let you know how it goes. Additionally, I did another video on uh, getting a $50 phone in the hands of 1 billion people. And I've since changed my ideas on that. And what I want to do is I want to put a free phone in the hands of 1 billion people and have it paid for by the advertisements on it. The one phone that I'm talking about for $50 to, um, to get a decent phone is a 16 gig uh, 2 gig RAM blue phone, BLU, the R1 HD, and currently, uh, as a Prime member of Amazon, you're the only ones that are able to buy that. Additionally, uh, you're only able to buy one with your Prime membership. So I've been buying several used ones, uh, and blue, great customer service, and uh, anyone that's got a cracked screen, I'm sending that back. They replace the screen, replace all the parts, factory recondition it for $50. So some of these I'm buying for... 20, some of them are buying them for five, uh, sorry, 15, 
uh, and then I'm gonna have them fix them all and they'll be factory reconditioned so that'll be awesome um, but they're dynamite phones because they have um, killer cameras on the front as well as the back facing it's got a flash for selfies which I discovered a lot of people like traditionally girls <laughs> um, but Gracie's selling these to uh, folks in the Philippines uh, and it makes for a dynamite phone because it's really like the perfect size but it's um, uh, it's about a hundred dollars we sell them for about a hundred dollars in the Philippines the reason being um, is that if you don't have a prime membership over here in the United States they cost hundred and nine dollars so you add some shipping onto that uh, and it quickly becomes I think we actually we sell them for 5300 pesos uh, and so that means it's about it's about $109. So we don't really help make any money on these. Um, but again, it's getting these phones out into the into the population and, and getting people to test them and what they like about them, what they don't like about them. Because I really think it's a great paradigm whereby you as the user don't pay anything for the phone. And I'm not talking about this whole yeah the phone gets subsidized by your carrier. At least you think you get a free phone, but in reality you're saying no I I'll, I'll take this free phone and I'll commit to a two year agreement. So it'll be the cost of my plan divided by the cost of, plus the phone cost divided by 24 that I pay every month. So you're not getting a free phone at all. You're paying for your phone. Um, and so you, uh, yeah, I really think this is a, this is a great, great idea. Just if you don't know, BLU Blue or Bold Like Us, a company out of Miami, they're the number one uh, unlocked phone in the U.S., I didn't realize that. So that's pretty exciting. So I'm going to go pick up some of those and my uh, my Huawei 6P. I love the Huawei phones. They're dynamite. And, uh, and I'll check back in later with my experiences. So anyway, it's Mike's with a pseudo update on um, technology Christmas, <laughs> Christmas morning. And uh, saying, I hope you're living the dream. Because if you're not living the dream, you're doing it wrong. And you're potentially doing it without an unlocked phone. Ciao.